What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I have a really cool unboxing for you guys. This is a knife that is here for the next knife sale. Uh, I'll be making a couple videos with it before then, and uh, including this one, obviously. And I uh, also want to let you guys know, I started a new house that I'm working on. And uh, it's a monstrous house, man. It's a multi-million dollar home with nine foot tall doors, uh, eight foot tall windows, uh, accordion doors, uh, three-piece crown mold, two-piece base, uh, uh, coffer ceiling. It's just an enormous house with a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, work that needs to be done. And uh, I even start. I even work Saturday, so um, I'm not complaining. I need, you know, it could, it's better than the alternative, right? But it's just. I've been doing so much and working so many hours that by the time I do get home from work, all I want to do is lay down on the couch. You know what I mean? So. I'm getting, trying to get everything caught up to where it needs to be. We're a little behind schedule. There have been some weather, rain has caused a lot of problems. Although I don't, my work is in, in, inside. It's just caused a lot of, this house is up on a hill that's like, almost, the driveway's like a 90 degree angle almost. I mean, it's straight uphill. So, and it's muddy and it's just been raining so much. It's just been a disaster to even try to get in there. And, uh. Then you got to carry the can't get the trailer up there uh, up, up the hill. It's impossible. Can't back it up there. Can't pull it straight forward up there. Even four wheel drive will not go. So all the tools have to be carried up and down the hill. So on top of carrying these these nine foot tall doors, they weigh 200 to 250 pounds each, depending on if it's a two uh, two six, a two eight, or three zero. Just enormous and heavy as shit. So. All right, enough whining for me. Let's jump in here. But one thing I want to say real quick to Julio. Julio, my friend, you got to tape tape these edges here. Look at this. Look at this. I was, I'm, I know it's in there because I can feel it, but this is how it came in the mail today. Julio, if you're watching this, be sure you put a piece of tape on these sides because with what's in this box, it would have been a, uh, ooh, it'd have been a, it'd been horrible if this did not make it. But it made it, luckily. But if you ship with those little priority boxes, you gotta tape those corners all the way, uh, all the way around it. So, all right, we have another custom knife factory knife, and this one is going to be for sale in the next knife, knife sale. By the way, guys, I'm gonna link Julio's Instagram in the description below. Give him a follow. All right, there's certificate authenticity. Uh, what's this? Let's see what this is real quick. If I can get that rubber band off, I think I'm gonna tight. What do we have here? Ah, oh, we got some extra bearings. We got some uh, washers, a lock bar insert, uh, and some hardware. All kinds of extra hardware there. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. With uh, the price range this knife is in, you should get all that extra stuff and then some. <laughs> I will give you guys the price when uh, it gets closer to the knife sale and we get all that adjusted. I'm just talking about what this, this knife costs new. Um, da, 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 da. You recently saw Julio sent me the Custom Knife Factory Evo uh, 2.0. This was not for sale. And this is the Custom Knife Factory 3.0, which is for sale. Uh, zoom you guys in. The uh, I've, I thought these were the same size for some reason, but apparently not. The 3.0 is larger than the 2.0. I thought, I don't know, I guess I'm confused. I, yeah, I'd say the 3.0 is probably about a half inch longer than the 2.0. You will be seeing a uh, review coming of the 2.0 very soon and the 3.0. And I'm probably going to do a versus video between the two. Uh, just so people can get a good idea which one would be better for them if they're on the search for one of these. From what I understand, these are pretty hard to get. Uh, they pretty much sell out instantly, the 3.0 and the 2.0. Jeez, that action is just scary good. Scary drop shutty. I mean, I like it drop shut, but jeez, that's scary. Because with where your thumb's at, bam. It's going to go right through your thumbnail if you don't get out of the way. It does have a detent ramp. This is M390 blade steel. What number did we get here? Number 69. All right. So if you buy this Evo 3.0, you will get a 69 with it. Everybody loves a good 69, right? Can't go wrong with a 69. 
It's a good number. I mean, I should add some value to it, in my opinion. Looks, I don't see a single mark on the blade. All the grinds are horizontal. That's different. I think the other ones, the hollow grind is a, a vertical, right? Yeah, these are vertical on the hollow here, and then horizontal on the flat up there. This is all vertical, or I mean all hor horizontal in different directions, though. The hollow grind is it's odd. How do they do a hollow grind? They must have hand rubbed it or something. I'm trying to figure out how you do a hollow grind with a vertical belt, you know what I mean? Or a horizontal. How would you do that? That's definitely a hollow grind. It's a deep hollow grind, too. Both of them are deep, deep, deep hollow grind. This thing's going to be so slicey. And this has got self-defense vibes to me. You know what I mean? The way that tip is, that clip point, almost reverse Tonto-ish. Uh, good for detail cuts. Also would be good for self-defense, for sure. And it is so damn ergonomic. So is the 2.0. It's one thing that surprised me about them is how ergonomic they are. Bigger knives than I would normally like. I definitely would, for my hand size, I would definitely prefer the 2.0 over the 3.0. It's This is just a beast, man. But it is a badass beast. It's got that beautiful same, I'm not sure what you call this finish. Is it bark? Almost looks like a bark finish or something on that titanium. It's beautiful. And on the pocket clip on this one. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous backspacer i don't know if, oh you got a mocha tie pivot collar this backspacer i don't know if it's titanium or zirconium it's got like a matte finish on it though let's look inside see if we can see anything yeah same matte finish on the inside got lots of milling in the scales for weight relief giant stop pin on this knife look at the size of that stop pin it's enormous. Give you a comparison. Here is a. Uh, I don't know if you have the CS Black. No, let's not do that. Let's do a bug out. Do this bug out. No, still not gonna be able to see it. I mean, it's huge. You can't see that one good either, can you? Uh, just trust me. It's big. It's very big. Beautiful knife. Absolutely beautiful knife. Just a mean looking knife too, man. It, yeah, tactical looking. Big jimping. Locks you in. Nice forward finger choil. Not that heavy for its size, to be honest. It's actually not as heavy as I would expect it to be looking at it. So I'll give you the weight and everything when I do my overview. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, sorry the videos have been a little slower than normal. Um, a lot going on at work right now, so I'll try to get back on track as soon as possible. Once I get to a place on this job I'm working at that, uh, you know, have a little more time on my hands. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.